Hey, let's talk about the Emo Zone and all of the battery options and how do you get a hundred amp hour out of this bike. So I'm going to explain that to you, but while you're looking at the bikes, here you go. Let me turn. Emo Zone S. A uh, little bit of history, by the way. This bike came out in 2017, and uh, it is comparable to the Tao Leo and the uh, what is it? The Daymac. What is it? The EM1 or EM2? Don't pay attention. Anyways, I've got um, four colors here out of the five. The green is just the same shade as that DX there. So really, you've got a sense of all five colors. What is the difference between the GTS and an S? Uh, nothing in the bike except for the battery. The GTS is the lead acid 72 volt 45 amp hour. It is now $34.99. It is a phenomenal value. Um, it is very heavy. Um, it's close to like 400 pounds, but um, so is a motorcycle. I want to do this video on this dual batteries and how does that work with emo they're the only brand that are doing this and i think it's pretty phenomenal but it's not everything it's cut out to be there is a downfall to it so how it works is you'll see on there you've got a, a 72 volt 30 amp hour i think it's 44.99 and then it's got a 50 amp hour option which is 54.98 i think those are single batteries those are awesome. A 50 amp hour is going to get you nearly 100 kilometers of charge. That is a great bike. Totally recommend it. If you need more, you'll notice that there's a 60 amp hour option and a 100 amp hour option for $78.99. How do they do this? They dual pack the batteries. So in the battery cavity of the bike, these are done custom by Emo. This is These are not done by the dealer. They We order it as such and then they put them together and um and send to moi and every the other dealer so um it is not a parallel um it's not set up parallel so you're not just going and going and going what you do is you drain one battery then you've got a three breaker toggle system so you're going to turn off the breaker to the whole bike you're going to turn off the breaker to the battery you just drained and then you're going to turn on the battery the next battery. So there'll be one on the left side and one on the right side for the toggles. Then you turn the bike back on. So the 100 amp hour, yeah, you're going to get like 200 kilometers uh, range from this bike. That's top. That depends on what your speed is. And by the way, top speed on this bike is 50 kilometers an hour unlimited. That's it. Okay. Don't even think about changing it. It's far too complicated. That's a whole other video. Here's the great downfall to that. A 50 amp hour battery will take if not more than 12 hours to charge, like it could take 14 if you've drained it right down. So you're talking 14 hours, 12, 14 hours per battery. That means you can charge one battery and then you have to switch and charge the other battery. You cannot charge them at the same time. So ladies and gentlemen, you're talking about a 24 hour plus charge time for this bike. That is a hell of a lot. Um, but you're going to you're going to have the longest distance that you can go. So if this is your day to day rider, why would you need 200 kilometers? This is for the guy and the girls that want to do like their tours, but are but they're weekend riders. So then they'll do their tour on a beautiful Sunday and then they're going to spend Monday and Tuesday charging it back up. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's that. Uh, any questions, let me know. Um, and yeah, if you're thinking about a bike. Call me. I, I would be happy to sell you one. Thank you.